Hello, friends. To learn the complete rules of chess, check out our YouTube channel playlist, How to Play Chess. Basic Chess Tactics Friends, in the previous video, we discussed what is stalemate in a draw in chess. Today, I'll teach you chess basic tactics, pins and skewers. Let's talk about pin tactics. A pin is a situation brought on by an attacking piece in which a defending piece cannot move without exposing a more valuable defending piece on its other side to capture by the attacking piece. Only pieces that can move an indefinite number of squares in a horizontal, vertical, or diagonal line can pin like a bishop, a rook, and a queen. Let's see a few examples to understand. In this first situation, c3 black rook is pinned by b2 white bishop. From this position, c3 black rook cannot move anywhere. Because if black c3 rook moves, then it will be check to f6 black king by b2 white bishop. In this second situation, d3 black queen is pinned by d2 white rook and this d2 rook is supported by his g2 rook. From this position, black d3 queen cannot move from d file to order to another file, from d file to another file. Because if the black d3 queen moves, then it will be a check to d6 black king by d2 white rook. So black will lose his queen for a rook. Now let's see how we can make a pin. In this position, d2 black queen is giving a check to the a1 white king and also attacking b4 white bishop and f2 white queen. If 2 white queen captures the d4 black queen, then d7 black rook will capture the d4 white queen. From here, b4 white bishop can pin to the d4 black rook by simply moving to c3 from b4. Now d4 black rook cannot move anywhere because if black d4 rook moves, then it will be a check to h8 black king by c3 white bishop. Here black will lose his rook for nothing and lose the game easily. Remember, pin piece always loses his activity. Skewer tactics. When we attack a piece, and if there is a less valuable piece back to the attacked piece, this is called skewer. The skewer is also organized on the file, row and diagonal. Here are a few examples to understand. At this position, d4 black king is in check by b2 white bishop. Now, d4 black king is forced to move. Let's say d4 king moves to d5. Now, b2 white bishop will capture the g7 black queen. This is a skewer, and the g7 black queen is the skewer piece. Let's see how to make profit by making a skewer. At this position, white d2 rook will capture black d5 rook. Now black d6 king will capture the white d5 rook. Then white e2 bishop will move to c4 and give a check to d5 black king and make a skewer with g8 black rook. Now d5 white king is forced to move. Let's say d5 king moves to d4 square. Now, white c4 bishop will capture the g8 black rook. So you see here, white gain a rook by making a skewer tactic. Let's see another position of skewer. From this position, d2 white rook will capture d5 black rook. Now, d6 black king will capture d5 white rook. Now, g2 white rook will move to d2. This is a check to d5 black king by d2 white knight. And at the same time, d2 white rook is making a skewer to black d8 rook. Now black will move his king and white d2 rook will capture the black d8 rook. Remember, king, knight, and pawns are not able to make pins and skewers. This is all for today's lesson. In the next video, we'll talk about fork tactics. If you like to learn more about the complete rules of chess, please check out our YouTube channel playlist, How to Play Chess. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.